Today we are going to do a quick and easy last minute gift idea for a little boy or a little girl. It's called a crayon roll and you see how it does up so nice here. And we unroll and voila! You've got all of your crayons stored in there. Isn't that a fantastic idea? So join us, won't you? Hello and welcome to another Mumsy video. Today we are making a quick and easy kind of last minute gift idea for a little boy or a little girl. Um, you could also just, it doesn't have to be a last minute gift. It could be for birthdays, Christmas, whatever, or uh, just for the fun if you have kids. Um, what we need to make a crayon roll, thats it's like a little storage pouch that you can roll up and tie and bring with you that has that you can uh, put all your crayons in. I'll, you probably saw it in the intro. <laughs> anyway, so let's go over the supplies we're going to need. Um, first, some cotton fabric. We only really need about a half a meter. It doesn't take very much to do this. Then we're going to need some stiffener. Um, if you have interfacing, you can um, iron on or sew in. That works. I have this little piece of denim here that is going to work for that. It won't be seen, so it doesn't have to match or anything. We will also need a little bit of lace to go around the edge. If you're making it for a boy and the lace is a little bit too uh, girly, you don't have to do the lace part. Um, you'll need some ribbon to be able to tie the crayon roll closed. So not this much. You only need probably about mm, another half a meter or so just so that you have enough to tie it. You'll need matching thread in the sewing machine. Of course you'll need a box of crayons. This one has 24 dollar store, pretty uh, cheap and easy. Um, we're going to make the crayon roll to fit 24 crayons in, but you can always size it up or down if you have more or less. Um, scissors, uh, measuring tape, a straight edge. Uh, you can use the white crayon from here as a marker if you like, or a marking tool of some sort. Um, chalk, a white crayon, whatever you like. And uh, I think we'll get started next. We're going to lay out our cotton fabric and we are going to cut four pieces from this. Actually, three from this and one from the interface. And for a box of 24, we're going to do 26 inches across and six inches down. So I'm just going to mark that. 26 inches will give us an inch for each crayon plus a little bit of seam allowance. And I'm going to use the white from this crayon roll <laughs> to do the marking here. So 26 by six inches. I touched my uh, phone as I was cutting and it cut off, but anyway, I'm doing the third cut there. Okay, so now we've got three of the regular fabric and you can mix and match this if you want the pocket to be different than the uh, main part of it. That's perfectly fine too. That would look really nice actually. And I'm going to cut a little bit from an inside interfacing, something stiff. It just makes the crayon roll um, roll a little nicer. It doesn't make it quite as um, flimsy. Because <laughs> when you want to, when, when you put the crayons in, you don't want to, I almost have this at six inches. That's why I chose this one. <laughs> it doesn't take too much um, 
cutting here. So now we've got the four pieces we need and we'll worry about the ribbon and the lace once we get uh, going on the project. So I'm going to meet you down at the ironing board and I'll show you the next step. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is grab one of our main pieces here and this one will be the pocket. So I kind of want my cats to be facing the right way but we're going to fold it in half the lengthwise way and we're going to press it down. This will be the pocket that the crayons fit into. I'm just going to press it in half. So we've got all of our pieces here. And what we're going to do is take one main piece. I like to sew the uh, inner side in with the crayons, just to st the crayon pocket, just to stiffen it up. So we're going to lay that out on there. Or if you have the um, iron uh, on interfacing, then do that as well on one of the main pieces. So we want it showing the right sides and we're going to lay out our pocket piece here. I probably should have contrasted this to make it a different color so you could see it a little bit better. But basically we're going to lay it out along the bottom that it will act as a pocket and what we're going to do is with our measuring tape we're going to measure equal sections to make sure that the uh, crayons will all fit across in the pockets. If you remember we've had 26 inches across so 13 would be the middle. I like to mark with a pin right the middle for us because we want the middle crayon Actually, no, it will fit 13 right there. So we're going to mark a pin there. And I'm going to mark at every inch all along both sides. Fifteen, sixteen, <laughs> you get the idea. That's where we're going to sew our lines for our little pockets. Okay. Let's see if I can get a good shot of this. Um, you can see where I've put the pins in at every inch and I've gone all the way down to two on this side and 24 on this side. What we're going to do now is to sew along where we've pinned uh, a straight line to make each pocket and we'll sew all three pieces together at this point but we don't have to sew all the way up just from the top of the pocket down and we won't have to sew these these end pieces at all because they'll be caught in when we do the um, border well that was a lot of tedious line sewing here I'll show you the back maybe you can see that I've sewn all those in. Don't worry about the threads at the back because they'll be covered up. But basically now we have a pocket for each crayon in there. On our piece that we have sewn, I usually like to start somewhere around the top middle and I'm going to pin this gathered lace all around the edge and then I'm just going to baste it so that it's in place before we try to sew the back onto the stencil. The corners are a little bit tricky but just kind of gather them up and do the best you can. <laughs> 
and you want this facing towards towards the fabric here not away from because when we sew the back on that's it's gonna flip around and be nice I like it to overlap a little bit at the top middle here just so that if we're basting and we find out that we need it a little extra we're all good and there we go and before we baste this there's one more step I'd like to take about let's go 20 inches 20 inches of ribbon And what we're going to do is fold it in half. I like the pattern side on the outside here. And we're going to, on one end of our crayon roll, the short end, we're going to pin it. Where are my pins? Here we go. <laughs> pin it in there. I didn't already pin. Sort of where the pocket of the uh, crayon pocket begins there, we're going to pin it because that's the middle. Just like that. And when we baste, we're going to baste across it like this, facing inside so that when it flips to the outside, we'll have something to tie the roll together with. We've got that lace and the ribbon all basted on there now. So we've got this piece and we've got one last piece to sew on here. So with right sides together, over top of the lace, we're going to sew this. We need to leave a hole to, in, so we can turn it um, over to the right side. So I'm going to just mark with a pin the beginning and the ends. I usually just mark two, two pins where I want to start and where I want to finish sewing so that there's a nice hole there that we can turn it all right side out and do our finishing little bit on there. And then I'm going to just pin it around. Make sure that the ribbon is on the inside before you pin it down. It'll be on the inside so that when we flip it around it'll be on the outside and make sure that the lace is facing inward as well. The corners are a little bit tricky for that, but once we've got that pinned, we're going to sew all around, leaving that hole there for turning. We've got that nicely stitched around. Now before we turn it to the right side, I like to trim anywhere where it's a little bit uh, bulky and thin thick so we'll trim across where those ribbons are and I just kind of cut across the corners a little bit like that just so that it turns a little bit easier here then we're going to turn it right side out it's always a little tricky from the middle but I find the middle top is the best to work from that you don't have to worry about sewing a hole closed where the bottom of the pocket is. Go. Now, of course, the last step is to sew that hole closed, but my favorite finishing move here <laughs> is, oh, let's move this out of the way so you can see, is to just sew all the way around the edge again and sewing that hole closed. It'll just help clean it up a bit, make it a little more professional looking. Then we can put our crayons in and voila! And we are done. I'm just going to put the crayons in now. And we've got ourselves a 
little crayon roll here. Are you kind of obsessed with putting the colors in the right order? I like to put them all kind of <laughs> in an order. I don't think it matters for the children usually who receive these, but they're always in a nice order at the beginning anyway. <laughs> Black. There we have it. Do you see? They're all sitting super nice in there and it's a little bit stiff. So then we take it by this end and roll it like so. And with our ties, we tie it up. And it's ready to go. There we go. Pretty nice for about a 20 minute craft, isn't it? So if you liked this one, like, subscribe, um, comment with some quick last minute uh, DIY gift ideas that you might have and I'll, I'll definitely have a opportunity to try a few of them I'm sure in the uh, future. And I think next week I'll be working on a crochet tutorial using Red Heart Scrubby yarn. I just discovered this and it's fantastic. I made the prototype already, isn't he so cute? You put your little hand in there, you rub some soap and you can wash your face. Isn't it adorable? So I'm going to be making a crochet tutorial for that next week. So stay tuned for that. Bye-bye for now.